Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. I hope you have been watching this series. Uh, it has actually been a lot of fun for me because it gives me an opportunity to actually go through my collection and see what I have. Um, and I've been enjoying talking about it. A couple of them I feel like I need to add uh, to my rotation because they've kind of been sitting in the back of my collection. If you have not uh, caught the earlier versions of this series, it is in the description uh, under full fragrance collection. Click on the um, playlist and that way you can get all caught up. But to each and every one of y'all who've been rolling with me each and every day as we have been trying to uh, get through my collection, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will not hold you. I wanted to continue to go on, but I wanted to make sure that you are subscribed, that you turn on your notification, because even though these videos are coming up every single day, normally I post maybe two times a week. Hope you are having as much fun as I am. Let's keep going. Stay tuned. Let's talk about Amber. Oh, I love Amber. Amber is such a beautiful flavor. I'm, I'm Not even flavor, I guess. It's really a scent. Uh, so let's just jump right in. I have Grand Soir. With, with Grand Soir uh, by MFK, you're going to get uh, like an Amber Benzoin. Amber blends so well with so many uh, notes, but um, I'm just going to go through them. So Amber, Benzoin, Vanilla, Tonka Bean, and like this beautiful Latimer scent, right? So a lot of people said that this can lean masculine. I love Grand Soir. I will not ever not wear Grand Soir. It is one of my favorites by MFK. My next one is going to be New York Amber. And again, before anyone puts in the chat about bond number nine, I know about bond number nine. I've had uh, my bond number nines before the chat ever came out. And I'm just not getting rid of my bond number nines. Uh, it is Amber, Rose, Oud, Saffron. There's a like a peppery note i don't know if that's pink pepper but it's a gorgeous nutmeg peppery blended note right then it has the benzoin and it has um bergamot in it there is a jasmine note do not get it very strong get more of that delicious warm cozy amber rose blend love it i love new york amber my next one is going to be Amber Absolute by Fort Manley. Uh, when I got into Fort Manley, I just, I fell down a rabbit hole. So I just kept buying and buying and buying. I think I have a total of four or five. You all will see before this series ends. But Amber Absolute is sexy. Think it has plum, black currant in the opening. There's a rose amber benzoin ladron blend. Uh, there is a little musk in it, not a um, not very strong. Maybe like a white musk is in it, uh, and cedar. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love amber. My next one is instant crush, and I will admit instant crush is why I do not have baccarat because they are similar to me and I got Instant Crush first and I loved it, right? It is, has sam, uh, saffron, ginger, amber, uh, a rose, a jasmine note. It is it is what I you would think of Baccarat, right? But add a little more like body to it, a little more staying power to it, right? Um... The ginger and the mandarin orange that's in it, 
blends so well with that Moroccan rose and Egyptian jasmine. It just, it, it, I love it. It makes it stand on its own. Okay, here is another one that is often said to have uh, some similarities to Baccarat, and that is the Sprito Florentino by Tatiana Terenzi. But this is, uh, to me, the Baccarat vibe on steroids. It is so much better. It's saffron, orange, jasmine, arbor gris, ylang ylang, lily of the valley, magnolia. It's a leather base to it so when i want to just be like pretty and uh command a rum then i do instant crush if i want to leave my scent when i leave out with the vibe of that ambery delicious then i do uh i do that one my next one is new to my collection but it should have always been in my collection. And I am talking about La Capitaine, uh, Capital. La Capital by George Off is amazing. Strawberry, caramel, peach, latimum, leather, saffron, amber, and ginger in it. Uh, that bur bourbon vanilla is inviting. The benzoin, like amber you'll find is either blended with saffron or blended with benzoin and sometimes it's been it's, it's blended with both right and that's what this is gorgeous i think everyone should at least try la capital once even if you sample it and get a two meal and just wear it and see what everyone else who's in love with that fragrance feels and i'm i think you will buy it my next one is um let me make it pull the camera up a little bit so y'all can see it my next one here let me put it closer is um wardenson this is another one by george off initially i think it started off uh by another line that was partnered with george off but then eventually they did come out with this fragrance on their own uh, this has a green opening, but luckily that green opening does not stay around for very long. Uh, it turns into this Bulgarian rose, saffron, ambery base with a touch of tobacco and some musk. That is what this fragrance is. It is so uniquely blended that um, I truly understand why Georgia felt like they needed to have it under their name when they did the separation from the company that originally made this. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. My next one is La Ambery Das Marvelous. Um, I truly am, can admit, I don't wear this one enough. I should, I should wear this far more. Hence why I'm, I'm enjoying doing this series because I'm coming across fragrances that I really should wear more. Uh, this one is by Hermes and it's Amber, Vanilla, Latimer, and Patchouli. This is such a classy girl fragrance, such a beautiful fragrance. Very, the bottle gives you what it is. It's very classy, very, um, just like you feel like a very beautiful classy elegant woman when you wear this one i so have to wear this more often um most likely i probably will if i go out uh before the end of this month since it is my birthday month uh i might pull this one out i really should wear this one more often my last one to round off my collection is luba prince i wanted this one so bad i almost didn't get it because it does have a um you know it does have a snake around it but this is such an amazing fragrance it's so sexy i don't even care i don't even care how it's um packaged <laughs> and if the snake around the neck bothers me enough i'll just take the top off the uh, off of it it did come with like a regular gold top uh, but I do like the Louboutin shoe for the head of the snake. Uh, it was very creative when they put this together. But this fragrance is um, its a note of amber. 
it's not exactly amber i want to say the note is called cyst citrus citrus not like a citrus fragrance but a citrus fragrance t-u-s uh, which is in the amber family so that's why it's in my amber collection Latterman, sandalwood and tonka bean but you would say well those are simple notes claudia there's no way that fragrance is that good it is oh luba prince is good um just i don't even think i've had it longer than a, a few weeks so i haven't got a good wear out of it i keep wearing it in the house i am going to eventually wear this out somewhere luba prince is beautiful and that here is all of my amber fragrances and what i have in my collection all of these are bangers beautiful beautiful fragrances any one of these i believe that if you tried it you would be in love hello hello thank you for watching the video and staying tuned if you are enjoying this series put a star in the comments uh today we talked about and i hope you really enjoyed it i hope that it was interesting to you that i told you of some fragrances that you could get into that you could add to your collection but i always want to know what do you have that i need to get into what do i need to start uh smelling i have no problem with sampling or decanting or, or getting some new scents so in the topic we talked about today if you know of a fragrance i need to add tell me about it but on that note i hope you have a wonderful night and i'll see you in the next video.